Hello everyone. I hope wherever you are at home you are keeping yourself safe. I'm Teacher Bonfas and I'm here to handle mathematics in class 6. And today we are going to learn about fractions. And our main subtopic is all about addition of fractions. So, but before we start with that, I need I love to sanitize my hands. Remember protection starts with you. You need to sanitize your hands each and every time keep yourself to keep yourself safe so fractions addition of fractions so as we have already learned in the past that we know fraction means part of a whole fraction is part of a whole for example I love this circle over here and I'll divide it into four equal portions remember the keyword is equal they should be equal so then I'll shade one part I've shaded one out of the four parts so the one out of the four, four parts is known as a quarter one out of the four parts. So in our fractions, as we have already learned, we know that the upper number is known as the numerator. Repeat after me, numerator. Numerator. And the lower number is known as the denominator. So here is the denominator. So with that knowledge now we can get to our main objective of the day, addition of fractions. So we'll have an example like two fifths plus or added to five sixths. So the way we are going to work out this one is very simple. The first thing is you take the denominators, take the two denominators, that is 5 and 6. And you get the LCM of the two denominators. We already know how to find the LCM, so that will be simple. So we'll start by dividing with the first number will be 2, that is the least number we can use. 2, how many times does 2 go to 5? It's impossible, so it remains to be 5. How many times does 2 go to 6? Or oh, which number do we need to multiply by 2 to get 6? It's 3. Then the next part is we can't continue with 2 anymore because 2 can neither go to this number nor this number. So we go to 3 because we have 3. 3 can't go into 5, so it remains to be 5. 3 goes into, one, into 3 how many times? 1. So we, will, we need to divide until we reduce all the denominators into 1. So 6 is already reduced into 1, so the next will be 5. 5 goes into 5 how many times? That is 1. So now the, our LCM, the LCM of 5 and 6 is... 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 5. We know 2 times 3 is 6. You know that. 6 times 5 is 30. So our LCM is 30. Then we get back here now. So we take the first, our first denominator, which is 5. You ask yourself, we ask ourselves, how many times does 5 go, to, go into 30? Or in other words, which number do you multiply by 5 to get 30? That is 6. You multiply 
by the numerator times 6. Then you go to the next one. How many times does 6 go into 30? That is 5. Which, or in other terms, 6 times 5 is 30. So you get that number multiplied by the denominator. So we have that now 5 times 6 is 30. 6 times 5 is 30. So you bring all these numbers here now. 2 times 6, it's 12. 12. Remember to retain this sign plus its addition. 5 times 5 is 25. Now add these two numbers. 12 plus 25 is 37 over 30. So this is not our final answer. We need to simplify this. So we simplify by dividing. How many times does 30 go into 37? It's 1 because of 30. Take away. 37 take away 30 is 7. So now our answer will be very simple. Is equals. Remember, the quotient, the quotient is the number on top here, is usually the whole number. So we write here it as 1. And now the remainder. The remainder is usually the numerator. 7 over. Now the number we were using to divide was 30, is usually the denominator. So the answer is 1 and 7 over 30. That's our first example. Okay. Let's see if you can have another example. Mm -hmm. um, a 8 plus a 6. A eighth plus a sixth. I think now it will be very simple for us. Eight and six. Remember those are two denominators. We need to find their LCM. So we come here eight and six. There we find their LCM. We should start by two. That's the least number we can divide. So how many times does 2 go to in, into 8? Or which number do we multiply by 2 to get 8? That is 4. How many times does 2 go into 6? That is 3. Since 4 is an even number, you can still use 2 again. How many times does 2 go into 4? It's 2. How many times does 2 go into 3? It's impossible, so we retain it as 3. We still continue, because we have 2, we still continue with 2. How many times does 2 go into 2? 1. How many times does 2 go into 3? It is impossible, so we retain 3. We continue by 3 now. How many times does 3 go into 3? 1 then we have reduced all the denominators into 1, as you can see. So let's find our LCM now of the LCM of 8 and 6. So the LCM of 8 and 6 is 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3. 1, 2, 3. We can confirm that we have 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, then 1, 3, 3. So 2 times 2, it's... 4. Good. 4 times 2 is 8. 8 times 3 is 24. So our LCM is 24. So we can, back, we can go back now to our calculations. So we now go back to the same, 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 same example that we did in the first knee round. So how many times does 8 go into 24? Or, which number do we multiply by 8 to get 24? That is 3. Multiply the numerator by 3. How many times does 6 go into 24? Or, which number do we multiply by 6 to get 24? 
That is 4. Multiply the numerator by 4. So you bring now everything here. 1 multiplied by 3 is 3. Plus 1 multiplied by 4 is 4. 3 plus 4 is 7. So our answer is 7 over 24. We can't simplify or we can't divide. So our answer remains to be 7 over 24. So I hope when you follow those two examples, you'll be able to get it right. Because after this, I'm going to give you an exercise. In your spotlight textbook, Mathematics, page 16, exercise 2.1. I want you to work out from number one up to number five. And remember, your parents will be under, you will be under the supervision of your parents. So you make sure you do it. Because I'll make a follow-up and I'll also mark. But as we come to the end of the lesson, remember to keep yourself safe. And remember, protection starts with you. Um, Teacher Boneface, and we will meet in our next lesson. Class 6, make sure you keep safe. And as you keep safe, you make sure you remind all the other friends that you come across. Tell them also to keep safe. See you next time.